Hello and welcome to Sobricks. I'm Adam and this is Sobricks. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and other Lego related stuff. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Lego Minecraft Steve's Desert Expedition set. I think, uh, well first this is set number 21251. It has 75 pieces and I paid $10 for this set. Uh, I've looked at a couple $10 boxes in the Minecraft line. Um, I think two previously to this maybe. I thought one was like a swamp and one was something else that maybe came with TNT or something. I can't remember. I think this one's relatively new, maybe for the new year, maybe at the end of last year. I can't remember exactly when this came out, um, but a lot of this has 2024 on the box here, so I'm assuming it's relatively new. Uh, and I was kind of excited about this. looked a little bit basic, but I did want... Uh, the phantom here i believe and i thought this was maybe a llama or something but i believe it is a camel as per the top of the box here so i decided to pick this up i go back and forth with minecraft sets sometimes i really like them sometimes i don't usually try to get them for discounts this one i just paid the retail price but it's a relatively small set so i wanted to get into it so uh, that's what we're going to do. So in this video, I'm going to open this up, I'm going to put this together, and then I'm going to share my thoughts on it. So while I build, I'll speed the video up, then I'll slow it back down to review this set. So, until then, enjoy! Okay, so while we look at the build for this LEGO Minecraft Steve's Desert Expedition, I just wanted to say thanks for watching. Uh, and then if you like the video, click the thumbs up. If you like my other videos, click the subscribe button. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. I appreciated this build came together quick, so now on to my review for this set. Okay, so here is that LEGO Minecraft Steve's Desert Expedition set. This is... Okay, this is a pretty small $10 box, um, not a ton of pieces, uh, and I don't have any of the other $10 boxes I've looked at handy, uh, like super near me, that I can say or, or compare these to, which is something I would have liked to have done, so maybe I should have prepared a little bit better for that, but um, there's some things to look at, so we will get right into it. The first one, the th first thing to look at is the minifigure, or some of the other characters' figures here. So we have Steve, I think this is a pretty common character here, so a uh, good color for the shirt. Uh, printing up at the neckline is so-so. Uh, nothing on the midsection, nothing on the legs. Face printing is pretty good, I would say, overall. They do have this kind of pixelated Minecraft axe or hammer or something. Nothing on the back. It's very, very basic um, minifigure here, and that's okay. The next thing we'll look at is the next thing you build, which uh, I thought was a llama, but I am have now been instructed as per the box that this is a baby camel. This is super cute. So we have the printed kind of like nose and mouth piece kind of on the snout here. This really specialized piece for the neck, uh, as well as the ears and the eyes are printed on there. So that's a, a pretty unique piece. And then we have a very simple brick built body here with a lot of tan, with a little bit of off color stuff there. And um, we have a little bit of a hump here as well. The legs are just that kind of um, one by two with the slot in the center. They use these legs on a lot of Minecraft animals here. This is pretty cute. I think this neck piece is really interesting. And then the other one we have here is the uh, Phantom. And I thought this was maybe like a nether or something. Or a, uh, I thought this was... I, I didn't know specifically what this was, but looking at it, I thought it was um, something else. But I haven't played the games in a long time. So we have this Phantom. It does have this clear bar element and disc element to kind of pose this so it can appear as it's flying or floating around near there. Uh, super simple, not a ton of pieces. Two of the 1x3 inverted tiles with the hole at the bottom. Uh, one of the mixel pieces with the uh, opposite joints on either side. We have the tail here is just two pieces. The wing here is just one piece that are just clipped on to either side. And the head uh, is just a couple pieces here as well. We do have the printed eyes on that, which looks pretty good. You can turn the head around. You can have these wings going different ways. The head can go down, can go up. A lot of range of motion there. Uh, potentially could get some 
kind of expressive things just in subtle little changes of this and so that's always nice something to look at and then the rest of the set is this desert kind of setup maybe a shelter a desert place a desert base in some ways for this desert exposition so we can take a look at that it does start out with a like six by eight here as well as a four by eight I believe and so those bigger plates here we also have a four by six in the white so this is kind of a desert climate sandy looking stuff here and we have some kind of staple minecrafty things so here we have the crafting table that's all printed with a little bit of shrubbery over here i don't know if this is water or something like that maybe this is supposed to be kind of an oasis of sorts there um, so we have this little ramp piece with the water uh, we have a fire over here i actually like how this was done super super simple but i like that they used a bigger fire piece and a smaller flame piece so we can kind of see the two of those there and i think when kind of put together and stuff like that they actually look really nice it's a really good effect that maybe wouldn't be the same if they just used two of the smaller flame or two of the bigger flame there so i kind of like that which i haven't seen exactly here uh i'm not sure what this is so please let me know what this is this looks like a, a block or something that you might mine or something that you knock over it's not on a jumper or anything so it's not super easy to interact with so i don't know what that's supposed to be maybe it's supposed to be a cactus or something like that i have no idea and then we have this kind of small shelter it's open on the back a little bit there uh, got a couple pillars back here very very short and kind of do like a stair step to kind of make this canopy almost a tent looking thing or like a lean to kind of with the taller pillars in front and that is all this set so there's not really places to put accessories there's not a chest there's not a minecraft bed there's not a ton of space to stud down everything here like we can maybe have Steve in there or, or standing kind of over in, in various spots, um, but not a ton of space for the baby camel to occupy on this unless we were to put it, for example, on the roof, which is possible and perhaps very funny. So that's uh, something to note there not a ton of space so uh, not the most ideal there's no real play functions or anything like that or different kind of features uh, moving parts or little simple mechanisms or anything like that and then this is pretty separate but for play could be kind of fine here and that's really everything you know with a lot of minecraft even with some smaller minecraft sets i believe even with one of the ten dollar sets i believe it came with like tnt and a very simple like lever there and i can't remember what the other one ten dollar set i looked like there looked at came with exactly but um it felt a little more than this so this isn't a ton we don't actually have here even a ton of like big bricks so the biggest thing is like you know some relatively big plates all things considered we have, do have this two by two this would be like a, a two by four plus if like plus a, a couple plates there or something but it's just plates and then you know these one by one pillar bricks are are tall but they're not especially big so not too bulky here everything's pretty narrow pretty thin um, which is also a little bit different and that's that's it so this this is i think the lowest piece count out of any of the ten dollar minecraft boxes i've looked at and um, I think that shows there's just not a ton going on here, uh, you know, as part of something larger. Great. This could fit in uh, with a, a bigger, broader desert expedition. Maybe a couple of these could be combined into something a little more um, playable and a little more uh, interactive. As is, it, it feels almost just you know nice to get these characters or these kind of buildable figures here and the rest of this stuff could maybe just be pieces used something else the general desert kind of thing here doesn't really do it for me oh this is a two by four not a two by two uh but still not uh, a lot you know one big brick you get a couple one by sixes as well 
So just not that much going on. And so if it's really a pack to kind of get a phantom out there, get a baby camo, get a Steve figure, I think that's good. I think one of the other $10 sets I looked at came with like a creeper and some other stuff. And I think those are maybe more sought after at least for me it appears i would rather have a creeper than some of this other mobs and so i think that's a, a better deal and i think there was maybe more to some of those other ones so this one left me a little bit disappointed i think um you know i i, I did pay the full retail price but i'll talk about that in a little we do have some extra pieces a couple here so we do get an extra of each of the flame both uh, sizes so like I said I liked how they did different like one of the small ones and one of the medium ones or big ones there if you wanted two of the same ones you could use some of the extra pieces in there to change it up a one by one here one by one here and a tile with the eh, nostrils and mouth print for the baby camel there so that's the extra pieces and yeah like I said this set is 75 pieces retails for ten dollars um, some of the other Minecraft $10 boxes I think I got for, you know, less than $8, maybe like the $6.50 range. I think I would have loved this at $6, $6.50, $7. I think it would have been pretty good. $8 would have been pretty good. I don't know if Lego is really pricing things at that price point. Like if it's not a poly bag, then maybe it's a $10 set or a, um, you know, so an $8 set, I don't know if there's uh, a precedent for that. I would have liked this a little bit cheaper. If it was 20% off, brings it down to $8. I think that's more reasonable, and I know that's not a ton different, but um, it is a meaningful difference, I would say, because there's just not a ton here. It's relatively lackluster for me. I think probably a lot of it is is in some of these kind of characters that come in this set, and to me, those aren't worth you know very much necessarily, uh, and the build wasn't terribly exciting. Uh, there's not a lot of bulk and weight and volume of the plastic here that I have come to expect from Lego Minecraft of all sizes. You know, I like that they use big pieces and, and bricks, like real authentic brick pieces instead of just, you know, plates and stuff. And this doesn't have as much of that as I would have liked. So that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, you know, I don't feel like I got ripped off. I almost feel like this could have been a poly bag um, with minor modifications you know either do yeah I, I think they they probably could have gotten this down to a poly bag and that would have been great it would have been a, a really good poly bag if this was all for five dollars you know I don't know if they do all of the characters and all of this if it was in poly bag format I would like to think that they could I just don't think that they would um, but that feels a lot closer to what I would prefer paying so ten dollars is a little bit high uh, with that said, I think that's sort of the lowest Lego is going to price like a uh, retail suggested price of a box set, although I, I would love to be proven wrong and I would love for people to point out all the times that I have been wrong. It just feels like there's not uh, a ton here, not a ton of play, not really display necessarily, but maybe uh there are people out there that I could have a lot of fun with this. I'm not necessarily one of them, although I do. I mean, I'm happy to get a phantom and a baby camel, you know, that stuff's all right. Uh, just this build was not, you know, the most fantastic for me, and, and Steve's not particularly interesting, uh, which I think is, you know, part of their uh, point there. So, um, not my favorite, actually. This is, it's been a while since I've been probably this hard on a, a Lego set that I've looked at recently because generally I like Lego, and I have to say, you know, I liked putting this together. Lego still brings me joy, um, but this uh, didn't feel like great value, and this hasn't brought me as much joy as some other sets that I've looked at. So um, for those reasons, I'm a little bit uh, hard on this one and a, a little bit dissatisfied here. So that is that. Uh, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up and give it a like. If you like my other videos, click the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the LEGO videos I'll be doing here in the future, including more LEGO Minecraft and then tons of other LEGO sets from all different themes, all different shapes, size, price point, piece count, tons of different stuff. So subscribe so you don't miss any of those upcoming LEGO videos. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much for all the help. It means a lot to me. If you're not subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. 
Um, so thank you very much. And if you want to support this channel in a different way, you can do that right here on YouTube with membership servers and thanks. And I have the Patreon. It's in the video description. It's on my channel page, patreon.com slash soulbricks. Maybe consider checking those things out. Uh, it helps me a lot. So thank you very much. And with all that said, until next time, thanks. Bye.